Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, this is Pete, and today we are modeling bullets. All right, so uh, bullets, yeah, they're pretty, uh, pretty fun. Everybody likes to use them every once in a while. They're kind of fun to do. Um, they're pretty quick and easy, so it doesn't take too long. So that's why I'm making this video tutorial today is because we can get everything done in probably an hour. So I'm going to separate this out into three 10 minute or 20 minute videos and um, we'll see how it happens. Uh, so also, if you guys want to check out my uh, Google+, Plus, my Twitter, or my YouTube, that's how you know what my next tutorial is going to be. Uh, also, if you have tutorial requests or ideas, feel free to post them on there. Uh, as you can see, usually I'll post, make it really evident what my next tutorial is going to be. Uh, so this is here. I also post tweets and uh, my Google+, Plus. same thing. Uh, getting ready for the next tutorial. I always post a couple pictures or a little post on it. Um, and YouTube, usually I'll update my cover background. I'll make something from the latest tutorial. All right, so let's go ahead and start here. Uh, this is a bullet. I modeled this really quickly. It took about 10 minutes to do uh, with my explaining to the section the second time I'm making a video. Uh, I screw up the first one. But this is what we're going to end up with, hopefully, when we're done uh, with the modeling portion. And then the next video will be unwrapping. All right, so I chose a bullet because it's very simple geometry. It's really a cylinder inside of a cylinder. Uh, you can't really get much easier than that. So um, although it's really simple to do, really simple to make, it's also uh, going to show you guys how to set up a workflow, uh, how to use a, do a little comp compositioning, a little bit of lighting, stuff like that. It's a, it's a good beginner tutorial, but kind of towards intermediate uh, to get you started on everything. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up a, uh, a new uh, background image. All right, so let's go ahead and separate the viewports, which is Control-Alt-Q for those of you that don't know. Um, we're going to go into background images. We're going to make sure that's checked. Go ahead and add image. Go to front. Let's go ahead and open. And I got it right here. So as you can see, I have multiple different uh, different views of bullets and stuff. Uh, this is obviously the one we're going to use because it's straight up and down. Uh, not much uh, leeway with it, really. So it's uh, going to be pretty quick. It's going to take about 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing you need is you're going to need a cylinder. All right, so we got our cylinder. We're going to bring it over here. You'll notice that it kind of goes on a diagonal. It's of straight up and down. It's kind of like that. So what we want to do is we just want to bring this over here. Okay. And we're just going to rough out the average shape of uh, the bullet here. Because really that's all we're going to really need help with is creating the shape of it. You don't need to match everything exactly or anything like that. Uh, there's really no need to, especially because it is off kilter, so it's not really going to help you. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, create all these little bevels and extrusions, divots, and flat tops, all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and start by control all or control tab, which will bring up your mesh select mode. Hit face, and we're gonna go into top viewport and the front viewport. We're gonna work with both. And we're going to extrude up to there. Go ahead and scale it in. Extrude straight up. There we go. Alright, so we have the outer casing mostly done. So we're going to Hit E, scale it in just a tiny bit. You don't really need all that much scaled in. All right, hit E again, scale down. Hit E one more time, scale it in. I guess maybe not one more time, but we're not gonna. We don't want it to be very much, but probably there and bring that up. Okay. Next part, just gonna hit E and yeah, we'll do it probably about right there. Scale that in. Now what we need to do is we need to create this point up here. Now there's two ways we can do this. Um, I do this actually this way purely because it is easier when we start to UVW. So we're going to use cuts, which if you don't know how to make a cut, 
Just hit K, select the vertex, select another one, hit enter. All right, so if you, uh, the reason we're doing this is purely because it's much easier to UV map something like this. So, all right, let's go ahead and grab that. Up, that up. Grab this, remove this down. And all right, that looks pretty good for now. All right, so we got the top of the bullet done. Now we need to get this bottom part. Okay, so this is where your primer and everything is for your round. And the first thing we're gonna do is scale it or extrude it and then scale it down because as you can see, there's a little bevel in it right here. Um, so we do that, extrude it straight down, hit E, extrude it out. Extrude it straight down, hit E again, scale it. All right, now we have to make the primer, which is going to be right underneath. Hit E, we're going to scale it in almost till it's about half the size of what it was. All right, then we're going to scale it up, E, scale it in, scale it down, making sure the primer doesn't come because it's going to come a little bit farther than the tip or the bottom of this bullet here. But it's not going to come out too much. We don't want it too exaggerated. All right. So that's going to be our bullet. The next thing we have to do is just like the top. And again, this is mostly purely for, uh, for our UVW purposes when we start to unwrap. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about when we get into that video. Um, but all we're going to do is select, actually, we have control seven will also put you in the bottom view um, if you have a numpad. Okay, so cut and cut. And then it cuts. All right. So let's go ahead and put on a subdivision or a multi resolution, either or. So we're going to use subdivision here. And you'll notice the bottom looks good. Top looks pretty good. But there are some major differences in the way the bullet looks. Mostly uh, this one looks a little fatter, which is not that big of an issue. But you'll notice that it comes out right here, whereas this is straight up and down. And this kind of like comes out like that, more ovalish. So we need to get rid of some of this. Okay, so the way we're going to do this is by adding edge cuts. Uh, now, there are other ways to do this, which I may explain in other video tutorials, but what we're going to do for this one is create different cuts, and what those these cuts are going to do is they're going to allow us to uh, kind of smooth out the edges and keep it uh, like a cylinder instead of like old. All right, so the way we're going to do that is hit Control r and we're going to move these relatively close to the top and the bottom of the cylinder here, and you'll notice that that straightens it out. Okay, and you can bring this up closer, farther down, wherever you wish. All right, and we need to do the same thing right here. We'll pull it down, or grab this, do it right there. So up, there we go. And I want to hit smooth, starting to look like, uh, like the bullet. Okay. Check something out really fast here. Right, let's grab this and we'll scale this in. There we go. And all right, so I'll just show you a different way also. All right, so we're gonna use a mean crease here. And what that's gonna do is that's going to um, take this and kind of just flatten out the edges. So as you can see, it's a little flatter looking. Put it on two. It's a little bit easier to see. All right, and that's one of the ways you can do it. Um, but since we have the cut in there already, we don't really need that. So we can make sure these bead creases are all off. Okay, go to two. I do want to 
keep this pulled in though. That'll work. All right. Uh, yeah, we gotta do some stuff with this bullet. So we're gonna pull this part down. Pull this right about here. Move it up like that. And that fixes kind of how the bullet should look. Let's pull this down a bit more. There we go. All right. Uh, now we need to come down here. Add one right there. Add one right there. So we can actually come up. Uh, nope, don't want that. There. So now, as you can see here, we have a little bit better looking of a bullet. It uh, looks a little better than it did. If you want to add another one in here, or whatever you want to do, you can do that. Uh, for us, it looks good how it is. I'm pretty happy with this result. Uh, the next video tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to unwrap um, and start our texturing process. But this is what you should end up with, and you're going to notice that it's got 2,834 verts, 2,832 faces. Okay, now, that's a very high poly for a bullet. Um, that's with all of our subdivisions. Without subdivisions, only 176, which is a little bit more reasonable. But um, for the case of our bullet here, we're good with high poly. And then, what, if you guys want, I can make a video tutorial on... Uh, bump maps and stuff, I'll use this bullet. Um, if you guys want that, please post a comment, Twitter, or whatever you guys want. Um, all right, thank you guys for watching. Uh, come back to the next video tutorial, which is going to be on unwrapping and texturing, and then we're gonna set up a simple scene with this. All right, guys, thanks for watching.